Hey everyone, welcome back to White Sparrow Living, Luke 12, 6. This is Wendy. Today we're going to be doing some Dollar Tree DIYs and some other business towards the end of the video. So we're going to jump right in with our first DIY project. And we're using this 3D wreath form that I got. It's supposed to be in the form of a ball, but we're going to use it a little bit differently. These can be found where the wreath forms are. That you usually see we're going to use some of this greenery that i got from walmart for three dollars and it's in the same area as the lamb's ear some dollar tree roses and then some ferns that they also had i'm really loving the looks of their greenery this year a gold painter's pen you could also use gold spray paint that'd probably be easier but this was all i had some green floral paddle wire to attach our greenery to our wreath form and the first thing I'm going to do is take these rings apart and it's basically the same thing as a wire wreath form but they're just not attached with the crossbars so I need to make these gold in order to match the decor that I'm making for my daughter's baby shower so I didn't have any gold spray paint so instead I just used my gold paint pen now these little bars are meant to attach the rings together and then you separate them out and make them into a ball but I wanted to give it a different look and kind of make it look like this where you may have seen a logo or a scripture and this is the outline so I just attached them where they were different sizes, went in different a different order so that they weren't just perfectly in sequence. So after I got those in the order that I wanted, I took some zip ties and, and attached it at the top and bottom where those bars are and then cut off the excess. And then this is gonna be covered with our foliage so it's not gonna show. So I'm gonna start with the ferns as the base of our greenery, and I just split them in half using the same stem, and then had three on one side and three on the other. And then using my green floral wire, I'm just gonna wrap it around and run in and out through those leaves. And you don't see the greenery, and it's gonna get covered even more, but I just wanna make sure that it's securely attached to the rings of the wreath. So then after I add the ferns, I'm gonna add some more greenery and then ultimately some roses toward the top. And like I said before, this is for my daughter's baby shower. We're actually calling it a baby sprinkle because it's not supposed to be as big as a shower. So it's just a sprinkle. But we are wanting to celebrate this baby because over the last year, she's had two miscarriages. And so we have two little babies in heaven right now so we really wanted to celebrate this rainbow baby and we found out it's a little boy and his name will be Connor Brent so she's not allowed to watch this video until after her baby shower but I had noticed that in our prayer post there were a few people who have also unfortunately suffered the loss of their unborn baby and so I just really wanted to give you my prayers and understanding and we absolutely feel for you and my daughter is praying for you as well. And also I know that it's pretty common these days. For some reason there have been so many losses of babies through miscarriage and not only in people you know people that I have heard it happen to um, and even in my family but we just wanted you guys to know that it's not something that you should forget about and just move on it's you need to name those babies and remember them always and know that you're going to meet them again
So after I attached all of the bottom roses and put them in a little cluster, I'm gonna cover that top bar with another couple of leaves from, I think it's called Dusty Miller, the leaves from Walmart, and then just a single rose. And some of the plastic stuff on the back, the green stuff, it kind of sticks out a little too much. So I just cut those off and then hot glued that to cover the bar and to just give it a little bit of balance. And then it's done. And here it is all finished and I am absolutely in love with this. The theme that we're doing for the baby shower is kind of a boho-ish um, modern farmhouse look, but this can be used for a bridal shower or even a wedding and it can be left in your home year round. It's not seasonal, so I just love it and I hope you guys like it. Our next project is a super quick and easy DIY using this triangular wooden sign. I'm going to be using the Silhouette Cameo 3 to put a scripture onto the sign. And then my glue gun, scissors, and my ruler to measure the size I need my scripture to be. So all I did for this was to take out the backing of the sign and I was actually gonna use this for another DIY, so I ended up taking the clips out using my pliers, but don't do that if you're gonna make this. You need to keep those in so that you can attach it back once you use it. So I took the little circular lion guy off of there, and then we're gonna cover this portion up, but I first just wanted to make it flat, and so I sanded it a little bit. I was thinking I might have to repaint it, but it turns out I didn't need to and so I'm just going to move on to the next step of measuring to see how large I could make my scripture to be able to fit within the triangle. So the scripture I'm using is 1 Samuel 127 for this child we have prayed and the font I used for the scripture itself is Serenity from defont.com and then I'm also going to cut out 1 Samuel 127, and I did that in the font Arial, which should just be included in your regular suite of fonts that comes with your computer. So once I weeded it out and put my transfer paper or transfer tape onto it, I attached it to the black side of the backing of that sign. And I let, there's a little hook over, if you can see it, what would be the bottom left corner, and that's where you would hang it from the other side, but this is gonna be covered also, so I didn't need to remove it um, from the, the piece of cardboard. So after I remove the transfer tape, I'm gonna cut out the First Samuel 127, and I did that one in black and just attached that to the bottom portion of the frame itself. Now, I didn't first make my transfer tape um, less sticky by putting it onto you know a surface or your clothing your jeans or something and that makes it a little easier to transfer onto whatever surface you're placing your words on so another way to get it down is to use your squeegee and kind of using a pushing motion at the same time you're pulling the transfer tape it will help it along and move on to that surface where you want it. So now I'm replacing the backing with the sign on there and since I had removed those little tabbies I'm putting it on there with some masking tape so that it'll stay inside of the frame. And then I'm going to add a succulent to the bottom left hand corner and that's what's going to cover up my ickies from removing the little sign or the little round part. 
and then also that hook that's in the bottom corner so i didn't like the way the succulent was as bright as it was so i took some white waverly chalk paint and just lightly with a pretty dry brush dusted it to give it a softer look and the succulents i had gotten in a package from um, ross's and they had different little succulents and and faux rocks and some different things in there and but dollar tree every now and then they do carry succulents um you know fake ones in the little pot so hopefully they'll have them again this spring or pretty soon anyway and you can use that but i think this is so cute and we're just going to have random signs here and there but this can go on the cake table or someplace near the gifts or just anywhere i always like to bring a lot more of the decorations than what we even have planned because you can always find a place to put that so for our next project i got these embroidery hoops from goodwill for $1.99 I'm using some wired burlap ribbon that I got from Walmart. It's two and a half inches. And then some more of those really soft, pretty roses from the Dollar Tree. Some of this dusty spring bouquet. And I'm going to be making a couple of bannered wreaths for behind the cake table. So I'm using this burlap ribbon and it's pretty flat and heavy duty. So it's, it will kind of stay flat as I feed it through the embroidery hoops and so I put the burlap over the smaller hoop and then place the larger one on top of it just so I could get a measurement of how long I can make my words for what I want to put on there and in this case I'm going to be putting his name which is like I said it's Connor Brent and Brent is uh, my son-in-law's dad's middle name. So Carson, our first grandson, his middle name is Michael after Pop Pop, uh, Mike, my husband. And so um, this one will be after Brandon's dad. So I cut out the words and weeded it. And I also found um, that using a sharp utility knife helps in the weeding process it just makes it go a lot faster because it kind of grabs the vinyl so then i'm going to place my transfer paper that i get from dollar tree and put that over my words and then transfer it on to the burlap ribbon now because this is a fabric surface the letters don't want to come down or stick to it right away so i just used my squeegee to help it along and i'll as i'm pulling up the transfer tape i'm gonna hold the letters down with my squeegee so that it kind of persuades it to stay onto the burlap fabric and then it's it doesn't come off and it stays very securely but it's just the first part of getting it to want to stay down there So once it's completely transferred, I'm going to place that back on top of the smaller hoop and then put the larger hoop around it and then tighten the little screw at the top so that it's nice and tight. The next thing I'm going to do is add some greenery and some flowers again to embellish it. And I'm using those dustyish spring bouquet. And then there was a piece that was missing off of it. So I just attached one of those roses to it so that it had a place and I wasn't just gluing it to the area without something at least holding it. So it would stay either way, but this just gives it kind of a home to adhere to. So I just hot glued those and I didn't use any wire on this one just because it was a little bit more of a surface to glue to as opposed to the wire wreath where it's very thin and narrow. So I'm just going to go around and I like to finish where there's um, 
the top of a fern or something at both the top and then the bottom so that it's not going in the same direction it's going in the opposite direction and then I just attached two roses to the middle and did the same thing for the smaller wreath but on this one I'm gonna put oh baby add greenery and then a little succulent in the middle of that I've had a lot of comments of people asking where I got my finger protectors and I have included the link in the description box below and on a couple of my other videos that I also included that on they were sold out of them on Amazon so I've updated those links to one that has them in stock it's a different manufacturer and I believe these are blue but I'm sure the pink ones will come back in stock at some point and I'll put that in the description box when they do. But they really help and so I highly recommend these to save your fingers. So on these succulents, they had these little pokey things at the ends of each of the little, I don't know what those would be, petals or something. But I didn't like the looks of it. It was just too, I don't know, prickly. And so I just cut those off and then just soften that again using my white chalk paint. And here they are all done and I have them hanging by some white string and I'm going to hopefully put that behind the cake and dessert bar um, or somewhere, maybe even a photo area. I'm not really sure yet, but I'll be hanging them with the string in that way as well. But I think this is super cute and I know my daughter is going to absolutely love it because she made a Pinterest board and gave us some ideas. I'm actually not the one giving it for her. It's her two bestie boos and so they're taking care of everything and I'm just in charge of the decorations or some of them anyway. For our final project, I found a carpet tile. I'd never seen these before, but they were with the rugs and the shower curtains and things like that. Um, but I'm using the back side and I just took off all of the stickers. I like the way that it looked like a kind of felt, a felt finish. And it had some markings like little arrows that were intended to show you which direction to lay it. There weren't a ton of these in stock so I don't know that you would actually be able to make anything more than a rug or something but I wanted to make a planter or kind of like a big 
vase out of it or a basket I guess you would say so I just made some holes using a uh, Phillips head screwdriver and a hammer and then I poked some big holes through that uh, about two inches apart two and a half inches apart but I used a self-healing cutting mat to make sure I didn't hurt my table but I'm going to attach these two and so I'm making a big round um, basket and then it's not going to have a bottom you could actually add some foam core at the bottom if you wanted to you know put something actually in it this is just going to be kind of just for looks for the shower so I might have some plants in it or I'm not even really sure what but maybe bl baby blankets or who knows what so I'll find something for it so I took a large needle with a big eye and threaded some uh, jute twine through it and then I'm just threading it through and attaching the two sides together and then I'm going to take some hot glue just to make it go all the way down so that it doesn't have a little flap this is going to be the back so it's not going to show anyway but just to get it secure and completely attached down So now I'm going to take some white nautical rope and attach that to the top edge using hot glue and I believe I got this at Dollar Tree but it was a while back and so I cannot be 100% sure it was just in my stash. And then after I get that around the whole top of the basket I will add a couple of handles that won't be really sturdy but again this is just for looks. So on the front of the basket, I'm going to put his name again using my Silhouette Cameo 3. And this time I did it in a black vinyl and used the same method and went through the same procedures. But as I was making this, I was really liking it. And I'm thinking that this could be used later on if I add a bottom for a little, you know, hamper or something to put his diapers in or there's always a use for bins, that's for sure. So I think it turned out super cute and I'm just showing it here with some greenery hanging out of it. Let me know if you guys would like to see the final results of the baby shower and how it turned out and how I ended up using what we made here. And then I have some other things. Emily and Hannah are her friends that are giving this for her and so they are doing some other stuff we're making the tables um, where there's some eucalyptus leaves and they have some bottles and jars and things that we'll be decorating with but let me know if you would be interested in seeing how that turned out
So here's the second item on our agenda. I wanted to do a little Valentine's Day mini home tour. And a lot of you were asking about how I use my decor after I make the crafts for my videos. And so this will give you an idea that I really do use the majority of what I make. And I've mentioned before that I send all the red items or colors that I'm not using in my decor and I get those over to my daughter for her home and so she's doing the red and I'm doing the pinks. So here's a little kind of snapshot of the different items that we've made. I'll link my Valentine's Day Love Sweet Love playlist in the description box below but I think it really turned out cute. I love the pinks and the softness of everything. I got the little garland that you see on my fireplace. It's a uh, light up garland. It has X's and O's and I got that at the Target dollar spot for $5. And then you'll just see some different items here and there. Um, the little bunny house, I got that at the Goodwill for $1.99. The mugs I got at Dollar Tree also. I love, love, love my pink pillows that I got at Ross's for $9.99 um, each. And then I have, uh, you'll see a rug. Well, okay, let me just tell you, I'm in love with this faux lambskin throw. It's actually a rug, but I use it to go over the back of my sofa. And then there's a rug in front of the fireplace that's pink and white. That's also from Ross's and it was, I think, $12.99. And this table my husband made about four or five years ago out of some scrap wood that he had. And he engraved it with an M and W, M plus W for Mike and Wendy. And so there's my rug. I love that rug. So I'm just showing you some of the area because my mom is actually in the kitchen cooking. So it's kind of a mess, but that's where I did kind of the darker pinks. And so like my, you drive me crazy DIY that we did, um, with the car. And so Anyway, this is just how I kind of put everything out and added to um, my Valentine's Day celebration of love.
So the next item I want to talk about are the prayers that we've been receiving. And if you guys could take some time, and I appreciate everybody that's been praying for all of these needs. And uh, there's been so many, and it's kind of taken me a little bit longer than usual to even get my video out just because I'm having to write all of these petitions and prayers that are needed. And so when you get to a page, if you would push pause to read through them, you can also go to the community page um, or the community tab on my channel and look at them individually and press the thumbs up once you've prayed so that they know that all of these prayers from viewers like you are ascending prayers for their needs. And so that's just really huge. And, and I'm so happy to see such amazing feedback and the prayers that are being sent up on everybody's behalf. And then finally, I have the winner of the Eco Buddies disposable wooden cutlery set, and that is Shannon George. So congratulations, Shannon. If you will email me your shipping address, I will get that out to you ASAP. You can email me at mikewindy1290 at gmail.com. I hope everybody enjoyed this video and I hope you will consider subscribing if you haven't already and check to make sure that you are still subscribed because there was a mass unsubscribing session by YouTube. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a blessed day and remember to always be the light. Bye.